Hi, I'm Chance Bufford. We're here at uh, Joe and All 2009, and you're at the Zero Gear booth. Uh, basically, what we're offering is uh, some of the best night flight systems out there. Um, we sell our custom tape that uh, we actually developed ourselves uh, based on some of the products that are out there, but this is, uh, you'll find this is a lot more flexible. You can bend it in half, uh, you know, twist it as much as you want without damaging the tape. We also uh, changed the way it's made quite a bit. Uh, a lot of the crews have been gone into this tape to make it a lot more reliable for night flying. We're also just releasing our new um, waterproof strips. And these are marketed in our uh, seaplane and truck kits. What they are is the same great technology, the super flexibility of our existing tape, but they're clear, they're sealed in this clear silicone. Uh, and that makes it waterproof, mud proof, uh, much more durable, but with a small weight sacrifice. Uh, so basically, if you fly, you're using this tape, and seaplane guys and truck guys are uh, you know, well suited with this. Uh, basically, our tape is pretty cool. All of our tapes are you're able to cut every three LEDs or every two inches, and then just solder them in. Uh, if you can get a close up of this right here, you just lay it out on your uh, fuselage and stick it down with the 3M adhesive tape on the back. Just peel and stick, and then solder it right in. There's no controller needed. Plugs directly into a battery, uh, anything 6 to 12 volt. So a 2S LiPo, a 3S LiPo, even a 9 volt battery will make these light up. We, all, we offer our kits in uh, multiple different versions. We have um, airplane kits for Jonah, so that's our, our big seller here is our airplane kits. We also have the helicopter kits, and we also offer our new truck kits. The truck kits also come very complete. How much current do these draw? Can you plug them to a, like just your regular receiver battery or are you going to want to have a separate battery for to draw, drive the LEDs? Uh, the current draw is actually very low. So like this helicopter right here has 5 feet of LEDs on it. At 12 volt this draws 0.3 amp. At 6 volt it only draws 0.03 amp. So the current draw is very low. Uh, I suggest that you pull the lights off of your receiver because you do need 6 to 12 volt to run the lights. Uh, I would not run them on your receiver, but you can tap into your flight pack uh, or even use a small 2S or 3S 350 uh, LiPo that, you know, $10 to $15, you get those LiPos and get your lights separated off like that. Okay, and if somebody wants more information about your product, where can they find it? Uh, information is available 24 hours a day at www.zerogear.com. Uh, all of our products are listed on there, and of course you can email me, uh, and all the support information is on the website. Chance, I understand you have something pretty unique for the helicopters out there to, to make it a little more sturdy for the flyers. Yep, I'm a heli guy at heart, so uh, one of my biggest problems with my helicopters was uh, the landing gear. Uh, anytime I had a bad auto or even a hard landing, I would end up breaking the plastic gear. It would tip over and cost me $400 in repairs. So that's a couple years ago is when I started uh, working with my own, trying to develop my own landing gear that wouldn't do that. And uh, what I came up with was basically these. These are CNC machined, carbon fiber and aluminum, and they're made in the USA, uh, very high quality product. It's, uh, there's a lot of really cool features about these. Number, the most important being, it's, it's a shock absorber for your helicopter. So when these land, these actually flex out and bounce right back up and they don't break. So they, they don't allow your helicopter to tip over at all. You can also adjust the rake. If you look on the back, I have adjustment holes uh, for the skids. And the skids, you can actually change the rake of the helicopter. So basically, as they sit here, the helicopter tail would be up out of the grass, um, you, know, you know, keeping the tail out of the grass. And also, for those hard landings, it gives you a couple more inches of clearance. And they're also adjustable, so they fit any 90 or 50 size helicopter. So they, these adjustment, these mounting brackets can go in or out and they adjust for the frames as well. So they're completely adjustable, any 50 or 90, and, and they look sweet. Uh, when they're in the air, it looks kind of like a Raptor or you know, some high-tech device. It, it looks, you know, it adds class to your helicopter, and they are very high quality.